Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well, and it's great to see you all watching today, as I will be giving my thoughts about the GTA 6 trailer. So I hope you all enjoy, or at least find this video informative, but first, a thank you to Locke PSB for suggesting the topic of this video, and for more videos like these, be sure to subscribe, because the truth is reality based. Did I mention this video is unscripted, so expect plesps. I can't say expect, I don't know why. <laughs> so expect plenty of bloopers in this video. Now folks, let's skip the explanation section, because if you don't know what Grand Theft Auto is, you're truly living under a rock, or as the Yankees like to call it, under Iraq. Same third world shithole. Anyway, I had a look at this GTA 6 trailer when it was leaked online. It had a great big watermark in front of it, which wasn't very appealing. Although I did see plenty of things that were exciting, I just sighed having a look at that trailer. I was like, ugh, this again. We've waited 12 years, we're gonna wait 12 years for this? This is supposed to be the next stage in Grand Theft Auto? We go from Trevor, Michael, and Franklin, uh, a, a white guy who's not crazy, a white guy who is crazy, and a black man, to uh, a bunch of Mexicans. My goodness. Well, it is Vice City, after all. It's full of foreigners. Oh, and don't forget the trailer was also full of brown women. I forgot to put that in my original statement, but it was full of brown women dancing on cars, a lot of shooting, that sort of thing carjacking, that's good too. Just general American chaos. They might as well call it the 2020 Summer of Love George Floyd simulator, but uh, now on with the rest of the statement. But uh, hopefully more of these said trailers will be released, hopefully hype will be built for Grand Theft Auto 6, although usually when Rockstar have a triumph, especially in the Grand Theft Auto franchise, it is then succeeded by something that is less than stellar. And when it comes to all sorts of games that have been hyped up to the brim, they have been less than stellar on release. Uh, the two greatest examples would be Cyberpunk 2077 and Starfield, games that I both played on release. Did I get that right? Yes. Both played? Yes. Sorry, uh, thinking off the top of my head is not my strong suit. I played both of those games on release, and, uh, well, the first one, Cyberpunk 2077, was a disaster. Crashed three times on my Xbox One. Uh, Starfield worked a lot better on cloud gaming for the Xbox One, although it was a bit of a meh game, at least in my view. Now, in regards to GTA 6, hopefully it'll be a Another solid home run for uh, Rockstar, though given the current state of gaming in, in 2023, and surely in 2024 and 2025, I am not getting my hopes up for GTA 6. I hope to God that I'm proven wrong, and it is the greatest game ever released by Rockstar, but I wouldn't hold my breath for, uh, for the game. So yeah. That's my personal views off the top of my head in regards to GTA 6. Now we shall move to the scripted conclusion. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's my thoughts on the GTA 6 trailer, as well as how high my hopes are for the game. You'd have to be high to have high hopes for this game. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and thank you all very much for watching. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, and nothing else, bye for now, folks.